Greetings, JDs and Lentlemen. Today, I will show you how to ride an Ender Dragon in Minecraft Bedrock Edition using only commands. One disclaimer, though, this only lets you ride it, like, sit on top of it. This does not let you get control of the dragon. Anyways, the process of this is very simple. All it takes is five command blocks and a lever. So, let's just get straight into it here. So, these, this first one here is an execute at at p run summon ender dragon and then tilde tilde 20 tilde so this command is going to summon an ender dragon 20 blocks above you wherever you are and then this second one here and by the way these are both impulse needs redstone unconditional this one is ride zombie slayer 67 or whatever your gamer tag or whoever you want to target start riding at e type equals pig teleport ride so what this is going to do is that this when activated is going to teleport you onto the pig and the pig is always going to be on top of the inner dragon if that makes sense probably not but i'll let you see it in action to really get the full full view the full view of things i forget to mention this but please delay that command block by 10 ticks this is important and then this one right here is a repeat needs redstone Execute at at e type equals ender dragon run tp at e type equals pig tilde tilde three tilde. What this does is that this teleports the pig to the ender dragon, and the reason why I have the the tilde three is so it teleports three blocks above the ender dragon, so it makes makes it feel like you're actually riding the ender dragon. Alrighty, so this command block right here is going to be a repeat needs redstone. Effect at E type equals pig invisibility 9999 255 true. This is going to make sure that the pig is nice and invisible so you don't see a hovering pig when you're riding the dragon. This is um, a quality of life thing. You don't have to add this, but I thought I would add this because it uh, looks a little retarded when you have a floating pig on a dragon, or I guess above a dragon. And then this one right here is a repeat needs redstone as well. Effect at E type equals pig regeneration. A lot of nines, 255 and true. This is going to make sure the pig doesn't die when you're riding the ender dragon. Because sometimes the ender dragon just likes to go under the ground and suffocate the pig. So this makes sure the pig doesn't die while you're riding it. So before you get on and flick the lever, you want to have a spawn pig, spawn egg, and a saddle. So you're just going to... Spawn a pig and equip with a saddle somewhere off to the side. And then you can just flick this lever. And just like that, you're on the dragon. It looks, uh, it's a little finicky, to be completely honest. It doesn't look quite right. I'm not centered, but this is the closest thing you're going to get to riding a dragon in vanilla Minecraft. And it looks like the dragon is doing donuts and just hovering in this one area. So let's... Let's go to a distant land to really get the full view of things. Alrighty guys, this looks like a good place right here. I shall just settle up my pig and then do one of these. And there we go. Look at that view. Isn't it splendid? His wings are kind of getting in the way, but I don't care because currently this is an epic gamer moment. Yeah. He likes to go through things, if you haven't caught on. Um, I don't know why that is, but... Maybe it's because the Ender Dragon isn't supposed to be in the overworld, but, you know... Ah, uh, that's just such a... That's such a trivial detail, am I right? Anyways, that's the end of this tutorial. I know I was kind of all over the place. I was a little silly at times, a little goofy, if you might. So I hope at least one person learned something from this video. Hope you guys are going to go out there and ride Ender Dragons to varying success, I'd wager. Thank you guys for watching my video. I love you guys.